All right, this is going to be a real quick um, discussion. I'm not really going to be talking about Amplify, although I will be showing logs that come from my Amplify deployed service. I was kind of looking through my logs. I wanted to kind of get a breakdown of like various requests and how long those requests take. And I ended up writing a custom script to do that. All right, so let me go to my little AI icon project and I'm going to go to my scripts folder. So I had to basically set up some scripts that download the past 24 hours of my Amplify logs from my Amplify deployment. And unfortunately, like CloudWatch insights can only get you so far. Um, I'm kind of a noob when it comes to CloudWatch insights. So what I ended up having to do was I just download the last like 24 hours of logs. And then I wrote some scripts to basically run through those logs and aggregate them together. Okay, so it just basically loops through every log. It runs some regex expressions to find uh, different log entries. And then I extract different fields from those log entries and I kind of aggregate the duration of how long different paths took to run. And then I also print out like, the overall counts, right? So if I open up like output CSV, you'll see that this endpoint got hit. Um, Actually, I don't know if this is, I don't know why I call it output. I don't know if this is duration. I think this is duration. So about 704 seconds is how, how much the create image endpoint has been invoked. All right, so if I run that and open up the CSV file, you'll see that it kind of prints out how long stuff took. Or this, so this CSV is basically how many times a certain endpoint was invoked. This, it's hard to get this information from the console itself. So that's why I kind of did all these scripts to understand like, how many times does an endpoint hit from my users? So I can kind of get that information. Um, so after looking at this, I kind of like scrolled down. In fact, I have a better view here. This is like a nice pie chart that kind of explains how long um, different endpoints took to run in total. Over those 24 hours, you'll see this endpoint basically took the longest amount of time. But I was reading through this and I kind of started scrolling down and I noticed I'm getting hit for things that don't even exist in my system, right? So if you go down a little bit longer, you'll see that I'm getting hit for .env files. I'm getting hit by WordPress content updates.php. I have, uh, I saw like a Laravel hit somewhere in here. Um, yeah, here's a Laravel in ENV. Sorry, this might be a little, might be a little small to read. Right, I'm getting hit for like a Laravel ENV file, a site ENV file, a cron ENV. And for a second, I was kind of like wondering why the heck do I have all these things in my logs? Because like after I saw those, I opened up my 24 hour log and I typed in Laravel. And I was like, okay, why am I getting hit for Laravel stuff? And I was kind of confused for a second. And I'm like, wait a second, there must be some bot out there that's actually trying to traverse my deployed application looking for potential security vulnerabilities. So I think they're basically just taking random domains that exist and they just hit your domain with various suffixes. So like they try to see if they can access anything that was deployed there that shouldn't have been deployed there. Like all these .env files, there's a bot looking for those. So the point of this video is you need to make sure that your stuff is always secured because there are bots out there that constantly traverse websites just looking for security vulnerabilities. Or maybe this is someone else like who watches my channel who like wanted to actually like see if they can maybe find a vulnerability with my site. But just keep that in mind. Like there are tools out there that you can run against your deployed web services and they'll tell you if you potentially have like leaked some of these, these files. I mean, honestly, you should probably never be committing or pushing a .env file up to your deployed service, but accidents happen. I just wanted to make that aware because it's not something that always like is in the back of your head, especially if you're not a security expert, but this is something that happens. There are bots out there constantly crawling websites, just trying to find any type of leaked information that they can use to exploit against you and kind of steal your database information, et cetera. Um, and I will say that a very similar thing happened with these like bots I'm talking about when I, when I committed my AWS keys to a GitHub repo, right? So I'll make this story short. Basically I, a long time ago, like three, four, five years ago, I was working on a side project. I accidentally committed my Amazon admin privilege keys to a public GitHub repo. And within like an hour, my Amazon bill was up to like $3,000 or like 2,600. And it's because a bot is constantly looking through these GitHub public repos and trying to find any type of exposed keys. 
And then they use those keys to basically spin up a bunch of like EC2 instances that have like 128 gigabytes of RAM. And then they basically just mine Bitcoins on those machines or they do various other computations on those machines. So just to wrap this video up, keep in mind that your stuff needs to be secured because there's always someone trying to poke holes in it. That's all I wanted to say. Just a little public service announcement because coming through these things, you know, it's not something that you expect, but then you realize this is the internet. This is the open internet and there are bad actors out there. If you enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, press the bell icon. And like always, I have a Discord channel. You're welcome to join if you just want to find a place to hang out with some other developers. Other than that, have a good day. Happy coding and keep your stuff secure.